There are three parts to any pattern draft. The threading, the tie-up, and the treadling. You can weave any four shaft pattern on the Cricut Quartet using levers instead of treadles. Threading is given at the top left. This is the first piece of information we use to set up a loom, telling us how to thread the heddles. Each shaft has its own line, starting at the bottom row with the first shaft. Read the threading from right to left as the arrow indicates. A floating selvage is only used on the far right and left. In this draft, we used numbers to indicate the shafts. Other pattern writers use an X, a dot, or some other symbol. If a project uses different warp colors or yarns, the threading may also indicate that. Next, we have the tie-ups on the top right, showing how to tie up the treadles or which levers to raise on the Cricut Quartet. Each treadle has its own column. If you are working with a loom with treadles, you'll tie up the shafts as indicated. Start with the first column and tie up shaft one. Then tie up the second treadle with shafts two, three, and four. The treadling at the bottom right indicates which treadles to press, or in our case, helps us determine which shafts we need to raise. If a project uses different weft colors or yarns, the treadling may also indicate how they are used. Read the treadling from bottom to top as the arrow indicates. Start at the bottom, find which box is filled in, follow that box up to the tie-ups, and lift the shafts as indicated. In this case, we'll want to lift the levers for shafts two, three, and four. Then we'll move up one row and lift the lever for shaft one. Each pattern is going to be a little different. It seems like a lot of information now, but soon you'll get the hang of it. And oftentimes, as you're weaving, you'll get so used to the pattern that you won't even need to look at the draft after a while.